Hello everybody, this is Code2J. As we all know, the beauty of Python is its tons of excellent third-party packages. In our Airflow project, we definitely need those. But how can we install them in our Airflow Docker container? Today I'm going to show you two ways to do that. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. In general, you can either extend or customize the Airflow Docker image to install your Python dependencies. Both of them have pros and cons. For example, extending the image only requires basic knowledge of Docker images. It doesn't need the Airflow source code and builds really fast. However, if you need to build from the Airflow sources, or want to heavily optimize the image size, then you definitely need to customize. Let's first try to extend the Airflow Docker image. Let's go back to VS Code, open our Airflow project folder, and create the requirements text file, in which we can define the Python dependencies. Let's assume we need the scikit-learn package to do some machine learning model training. So we add a line in the requirements file with scikit-learn double equal 0.24.2. Next, we are going to install all the dependencies defined in the requirement file by extending the Airflow image. To do that, we have to create a Docker file in our project root folder and open it. Then we write from Apache Airflow 2.0.1, which tells Docker that we want to extend the official Airflow Docker image with version 2.0.1. Next, we need to copy the requirements text file in our project root folder to the Docker image using the copy command. Then we run the pip upgrade command to have the latest pip version and run the pip install to get all the Python dependencies installed. Save it, and we have a perfectly defined Docker file which is ready to be built. Let's build the extended image by command docker build punct minus minus tag extending airflow latest. Basically, we tell the Docker to build an image using the Docker file existing in the current directory and name the image as extending airflow and version it as latest. It may take some minutes to finish. In the meanwhile, we can see from the log that it builds exactly the same steps as we defined in the Docker file. Once it finishes, we need to open our Docker Compose YAML file to change the image name from Apache Airflow to Extending Airflow latest version. Let's create a DAG file to verify whether the scikit-learn package has been installed. Let's initialize the DAG instance. And then create a function called get scikit-learn, in which we print out the scikit-learn package version. Then we build a task using the Python operator to run this function. Save it, and we need to rebuild the Airflow web server and scheduler services since we modified the Airflow image name in the Docker Compose YAML file. Let's do it by command docker compose up minus d minus minus node depends minus minus build Airflow web server Airflow scheduler. Then we go back to the browser, log in and refresh the page. Trigger our newly created DAG and check the log. 
we can see the scikit-learn version has been printed out. What if we want to add more Python dependencies? Let's say we need matplotlib. Let's go back to VS Code, add matplotlib with version to the requirements text file. In the DAG, we create another Python function called getMatplotlib to print out the matplotlib version. Update the DAG version, go to the browser and refresh and trigger the newest DAG. Oops! Our getMatplotlib task failed. Let's open the log. We can see an error, no matplotlib package. Why does this happen? Because we changed our requirements text file locally, but not in our Docker image and containers. So whenever we change our Python dependencies file, we have to rebuild the image. Let's do it by running the docker build command again. Then we have to rebuild the Airflow web server and scheduler containers by command docker compose up minus d minus minus node depends minus minus build Airflow web server Airflow scheduler. Clear the previous task runs and wait for the retry to finish. From the log, we can see the matplotlib version has been printed out successfully this time. That's it! We managed to install Python dependencies via extending Airflow image. How can we achieve this by customizing the Airflow image? Basically, we have to build it from Airflow source code. Let's open the second terminal in VS Code. CD to the directory desktop. Then we need to clone the Airflow source code. Let's Google the official Airflow GitHub repository and clone it. Make sure you have set up the SSH key properly. It may take some minutes, but we finally have it. Let's open it in a new VS Code window. First, we have to find the folder Docker Context Files since every Python dependency defined here will be installed automatically when building the image. Let's create a requirements text file in it and put scikit-learn and matplotlib packages with version info. Then we need to build the docker image by command docker build, comma, minus minus build arc, airflow version equals 2.0.1 and tag it as customizing Airflow latest version. Basically tell Docker to build the image with version Airflow 2.0.1 using the Docker file in the root directory and name the image as customizing Airflow version latest. It might take five minutes or more since it builds the image from the source. If you pay attention to the step trough of Airflow build image, you can see it installs all the Python dependencies defined in the requirements text file in the Docker context file folder. Next, we need to replace the Airflow image name in the Docker Compose YAML file. Let's go back to our Airflow project VS Code window and update that. Save the YAML file and we recreate the Docker containers for Airflow web server and scheduler by the command docker compose up build airflow web server airflow scheduler. Let's pick the same DAG and clear the previous DAG ROM. Wait for it to be rescheduled and executed. When we check the log, we can see both Python packages and their version have been printed out, which means they have been installed successfully. Okay, now you might wonder which way you should choose. Well, in my opinion, you can go with the first method in 99% of the cases, namely extending the image, because it is super fast and easy. However, if you want to have more things to be customized and really care about optimizing the image size, you need to customize the image. 
that's it. You have learned two ways to install more Python dependencies in the Airflow containers. I think after watching this video, you also get more familiar with some Docker and Docker Compose commands. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comment section. And last but not least, which Airflow topics do you want to see in the next video? Please share it in the comment section. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.